So, Marcus, um, t tell me about being able to reach a much bigger group of people with the story of your brothers, you and your brothers. Yes, ma'am. No, I, I think it's a great thing. I mean, obviously the book reached a, a certain audience, but that audience is limited, and then film reaches a, a, a broader audience. And uh, I owe this all to, to Pete and, and the actors and the, and the crew and everybody for standing behind me and, uh, excuse me, not behind me, beside me, and um, and and working so diligently and, and, and not taking the breaks and going through the pain and, and stuff like that. And I know that making every movie, there, there's stuff like that, but there were certain aspects of this film that, that I think transcended most of the, a lot of the films that these guys make, so do, uh, mainly because of the danger of what they were dealing with uh, up on the mountain trying to reenact uh, what we went through because then ultimately all of our guys died. So to portray that on, on a film and, and not being afraid to, to stand up and say, hey, we got, we got to do this right or we're not going to do it at all uh, was, a, was a big, uh, was, a, uh, was quite a, uh, a moving experience. Peter, excuse me? Okay. Uh, Peter, talk about having the support of Marcus and the, um, and the seals there every day to make sure that you got the details right. Um, I, I think I think get, getting the support of, of Marcus and, and the seals and the families of the seals who were killed uh, wasn't wasn't something that w was just uh, automatic. That was something we all had to go out and um, you know, I think earn. Um, we had to earn uh, their their confidence. Uh, we had to earn the respect, and then ultimately we we earned their support. And uh, for, you know, for me, that started years ago. Um, you know, Mar Marcus is is not one to just uh, you know fake fake it. He's not going to pretend like he respects you, or he's not going to pretend like he's your friend until uh, that's a legitimate feeling. And I felt that um, it would take time, and that I I would need to spend a lot of time and develop a real relationship with not only Marcus. But the SEAL community, and you know, I spent a, quite a bit of time traveling with Marcus, spending time with his brothers, uh, observing SEAL training operations in the U.S., going to Iraq and observing SEALs uh, on deployment in, in Iraq, um, going and visiting with the family members of the soldiers who were killed, and you know, this this film took about five years to get going, and and that took all the all of that time and that that front loading and that that research and that time spent together ended up with Marcus on the set lending his support ended up with the seals that Marcus uh, you know asked to be a part of our film uh, being there to support us um, and that that was something that took time uh, and and when it finally came it was it was invaluable to us it was um, inspiring uh, for for me and for the cast and for the crew to have Marcus and some of his brothers there with us. Uh, that was just inspiring. Just just being able to have him fit physically there was inspiring. But then when I had a question or we weren't sure about something or we were stuck to have Marcus there, you know, and to be able to say, hey, you know, maybe this would work or that doesn't quite look right or if you thought about this, I mean, that was that was a you know a home run for for all of us involved in the film. Thank you both so much. Yeah.